guys creamy goodness here with the second part of my let's play on extreme difficulty. As you can see, we just landed and I'm about to set up our house here. Um, I'm probably going to be setting up camp right here in this nice little valley I found. So, we'll get these guys started here. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward once I get my base built, because this might take me a while, and I doubt you want to watch. So, I'm back, and I have my house all planned out. Uh, right now, it is just a small little cafeteria area with a cook stove, a butcher shop, and three beds. Um, dormitories are temporary, of course. Alrighty. Got my colonists. Work priorities all set up away here. And uh, I guess my first priority should be to determine where my power is going to come from. There's not a lot of room for a solar panel. Oh! Well, isn't that perfect? The steam geyser, right there. Go ahead and extend this all the way back to our colony here. I think I'm actually going to relocate this as I want to set up our little defense right over here. metal to build that. Got some extra meals here. Alright. Let's see here. Secret number is three apart. Alright, and now we have power to our base. Go ahead and get some meals started here. I like to make stockpiles two units big because, or my meal stockpiles two units big because later on I like to use fine meals and lavish meals because fine meals definitely take all day to make, whereas um, fine meals, you can just pop them out, so I like to use those as kind of um, a sustainable feeding in case my colonists need to go on a hunger binge and just eat everything that's in the colony. Alright, we'll start our guy, make some meals here. I like to save my meat, as it does not spoil yet. So, oh, you know what? I don't even have any vegetation. Because I did not start a growing patch. In Alpha 6, 
this entire area would be filled with berry bushes and you could just designate uh, just a few feet around you and get a, a, like 50 berry plants. But he definitely nerfed it. Alright, I think I'm going to... Group of travelers, okay. I think I'm going to designate some hunting here. While our crops are growing. I know I saw a boar around here. Oh, there he is. Let's see, who's our hunter? Alrighty. Go ahead and give her Lee Enfield. Let's see. Crack shot is Galena. We'll go ahead and nah, we won't take Gross. He's too busy building. And now it's snooze time. I think I'll spruce up the colony with some floors here. The way my main starting house here is built, I generally try to go for this type of building because it's just really easy to expand out into. You got the three tile wide hallway, which is just big enough to not give them the um, cramped environment debuff, and uh, can just pretty much expand out from there as I want my kitchen up front in every single colony I play. I usually have that as my frontmost building. Oh, squirrel, huh? Oh, he's going for him. He's going for my colonists. Look at him, he's speeding away there. Uh-oh, he's about to go knock on my door. This is not good. Well, my turret's got some backup for me, huh? I might just let the turret take care of it. Oh, here's gross. Alright, good job, guys. An extreme difficulty you'll find um, animal attacks are extremely common. I'm going to need to definitely plug up this little flaw in my defense here. Um, that may not seem like a big threat for extreme, extreme difficulty, constant animal attacks, but let me tell you, during solar flares, and if you're and if you're a solar colony, and you know you can have eclipses, run out of power, your turrets won't be able to take care of you. Your colonists, um, you saw how fast the animals were going; they might take a few shots. Look at that, some nice tasty deer. Who's our other shooter here? I think it's gross. All right, gross can also go hunt now. We're done using you for building. New Montreal. I think we'll call this place Chillville. Guys, I just gotta say, I love the new 
combat system in RimWorld. I think it's such an awesome thing that they did to implement body part injuries and being able to take limbs off. It's just awesome. I've always been a fan of that in Dwarf Fortress, and I never thought Tynan would um, implement it into his game so early and it being executed uh, so well. But that just proves the to be the kind of guy Tynan is. He got some really good alphas out. He's always got stable alphas. They're um, it's just one of the best games I've um, supported, definitely. Oh no, package surviving mills taking up all our stockpile space here. Alrighty, so got no trading capacity. It's going to be our next objective here. Go ahead and stick one out there, and we'll expand our colony a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and pause this and get it all planned out. Alrighty, I got my little place set up here. Um, I like to use a mixture of wood walls and wood conduit walls. Uh, I like to only use I only like to use wood conduit walls on one wall in my colony and just kind of make it go throughout the whole colony because uh, that metal can get pretty expensive and I don't really like the look of the power conduit wires going out everywhere through my colony and restricting where I can put items, it just doesn't look good. Whoops. Alrighty, we can get some research started here. I generally go for stone cutting first, always, because I don't expand my base any more uh, than this until I can get some stone walls, simply because of mortars, lightning strikes, all that fun stuff RimWorld likes to throw at you. Who's our researcher? We're going to have to manually tell her to go research. Alrighty, cool. Gross is sweeping up here. Means he doesn't have anything to do. We'll go find him something to mine here. Industrial Trader. It's too bad it's not endgame. I'd love to get some Plasteel. I don't think there's anything I can really get from him right now. Or sell to him. I like to set up my prison near my kitchens usually, because... You know, your wardens are always tossing them meals, there's just no point for it to be too far away. I like to make my rooms, uh, the interior space, 5x5, five five because I find that that is the minimum amount of space it takes to get the uh, spacious interior buff to your colonists. And I want my colonists happy all the time. Let's see here, we'll get some gun turret cooling. So that colonists don't have to take too many bullets in battle. should designate a few more deers here. Oh. Go 
Don't get those, man. Be leaving those dead deer corpses everywhere. Exotic goods trader. I just don't know. I guess I can see what he has. Oh, some power armor helmets. Well, those would be nifty. Yeah, I don't have much to sell. Apparently, simple meals are worth quite a bit. Might as well sell some of those. Hmm. I think I'll have to pass on this. Nothing really looks interesting to me. We'll get Gross here to start growing. He seems to want to do something else here besides hauling. Oh, well, they can't access their prison here. That's not what I wanted to do. Here we go. Alrighty guys, I think this is going to wrap it up for my part two of Let's Play. Um, keep an eye out for my next part coming up soon. Don't forget to comment, like, or subscribe at the bottom there. And thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.